Hey everyone, so here's a quick video showing uh, how we can scale the particles trail over time. So you see as these come out, um, the, I actually what I did is I'm, I'm copying a sphere onto each point and then I also have a trail that scales smaller from front to back. So the way I accomplished this was um, well I didn't do anything in the DOP network. There's nothing new in here. This is just a, this is just a standard uh, emit from uh, location. It's just this one location particle emitter. I also turned off gravity. That's off right there. But that's all I did in here. Well, and I also I lowered the amount of particles. <laughs> also, uh, a lot less particles than what's by default. But again, nothing special in here. Just the standard location particle emitter. The scaling and the trails all happen up here in the geometry node where the particles are being displayed. So if I open that up, uh, you can see what I have here. Here's the imported particles right there. There's the .io. And then I added a trail node here. And with the trail node, I simply just increased the trail length and the trail increments to give me the um, these lines. And I, I also set them to connect as polygons. So these two numbers here are what control the length of your your um, your your tail. You can see like that. All right, and then I came down here, and here is where I am. What I'm doing is I'm actually adding a custom value because if we look at the poly wire, um, let me let me activate the poly wire, but let me bypass my attribute VOP. So if we look at the poly wire. Um, now, actually, we're not going to see anything because um, my it doesn't have its its attribute it needs. So typically, your wire radius. I'm actually just going to copy that for a second and then delete it. So I'll just right click and do delete channel, and now I just have a slider here. So this is what we have by default with the poly wire. It just has a wire radius, and that's that's applied across the entire trail. So what I did is I made a custom attribute called at radius. Well, it's called radius, at radius, because it's an attribute. If I want to refer to an attribute somewhere else, I have to put the at sign. So the attribute is, is radius. And I'm defining that radius attribute in my attribute VOP right before it. So if I turn this back on, I can come in here and see what's going on. So I'll jump into here. And, um, you know, I'm going to tear this off so it's easier to see. So I'm clicking over here. This is off screen, but I'm going to choose tear off pane so we can see this a little bit better. Okay. So the I'm making a custom attribute called radius. So I needed to put down a bind export. Remember, we always have to use a bind export if uh, it's not in this list of common output attributes. So I just right clicked and did bind and I chose bind export. And in my bind export node, I just named it radius and it's a float value. Radius, so that's the attribute that's being referenced by the polywire node below it here. So there's the radius attribute, that's my custom attribute. And, uh, oh, I don't need these two. <laughs> I left those in there. Uh, so here's what we have happening. So what I'm doing is I am taking the point number, uh, or the, the, yeah, the point number and the uh, number of points here, and I'm fitting them. I, this is basically a range. This is the fit node. So this we get to get this by just typing in fit. And I think it might be cut off a little bit. It's called fit range. So I'm placing the PT num into the default value, and then I'm taking the uh, number of points and putting that into the uh, maximum. So with a fit node, you typically have a source min and max and a destination min and max. So the incoming value is the uh, PT num. This is a float. And then the source, the source max is going to be my um, uh, number of points here. So you see I have that wired into source max. And that's all I've changed. Otherwise, I kept my source min at zero and my destination is zero to one. 
So I'm 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 trying I'm basically normalizing them, I guess you could say, to some degree. And then uh, I am connecting the output from that that fit node into a ramp parameter. Again, we can get that by just typing in ramp and adding a ramp parameter node. And in my ramp parameter node, uh, I change it to a spline ramp right there. And that's actually all I did in here. I just change it to a spline ramp because by default it's set to an RGB color ramp. So I change it to a spline ramp and then I connected that output to my bind export here. So then what that gives me is at the level above here, if I go back up to my, my uh, particle emission or uh, location level, actually the geometry level we could say, for my attribute VOP, I now have a ramp that I can use to control the, that radius value from front to back. And that is what gives me the, uh, well, let's see, let me, let me select this and move it out of the way. So if you see, here's my ramp. So if I select any of the, the um, tabs I have on here, I can just change those values. So this, this side of the ramp represents the, the front of the particle or the particle trail. And this tab here represents the far tail of the particle. And I could add any number of these in between if I wanted to. You know, I could add one right here, and then that would mean that right in the middle, I could bulge it out for whatever reason. <laughs> so I'll pull that one out of there. So that's basically how it works. It's uh, fairly simple. So again, I'm using a ramp to control the thickness from front to back, and I am then sending that to the polywire node and the polywire node is using that custom attribute that I set up in my attribute VOP as the wire radius. And then the last thing I did here is you can just see I have a sphere. I took the original particles. I'm copying the sphere to those particles. And then I'm taking this along with my, my trail, my particle trails or tails or whatever you want to call them, and I'm merging them all back together. And that's how I get this result. All right, so uh, I hope that helps.